Hi guys, I'm Josh. I scored a raw 15 methods in 2019 and a perfect 8 last year. And today I'm just going to do a very short PowerPoint on the most common algebraic misconceptions. This is relevant for methods, for further, for specialist maths, any sort of maths whatsoever. These things are overlooked all the time and they introduce false solutions into answers. Firstly, this is probably the most forgotten thing. If x squared equals 9, what does x equal? And the answer is x equals plus or minus root 9, which is plus 3 or negative 3. After you work out that, that it is positive and negative 3, potentially you might exclude a solution, but still don't miss this step. Secondly, introducing false solutions by squaring is a very, very big thing that happens. If you have negative x equals root x, and you square both sides, you'd obviously get x squared equals x, right? So if you get x squared equals x, then when you rearrange that, you get x squared minus x. And then you get x times x minus 1 equals 0. And then you get x equals 0 or x equals positive 1. However, when you sub that back in, sub in 0, sure, you get 0 on the left side, 0 on the right side. But when you sub back in positive 1, you get negative 1 equals 1. That's not the case. Remember. When you square something on both sides, you might introduce false solutions. Next up, square roots. Remember that anything inside square roots can't be negative. 2x plus 1 can't be negative in methods. You can get the domain of the graph by utilizing this. For example, 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 is the domain of the square root graph. Next up, we have the null factor law. This will be familiar. When factorizing, egg. look at this, x equals 3, x equals 2. Why does it work? Because if the first bracket is 0, then the solution, then the equation is valid. 0 equals 0. If the second part of the brackets, x minus 2, is equal to 0, then 0 equals 0. Sometimes it might look a little bit more unfamiliar, but it still works the same way. x times ln x is equal to 0 means that x is equal to 0 or ln x is equal to zero. Also, verify afterwards that it does work. Because in this case, x actually can't be zero. When you sub in uh, x a zero into x here, thing inside log, always positive. Expression inside the brackets of a log must be positive. Powers, positive numbers raised to a power, always are positive as well. When we solve this question here, x plus five must be positive, x plus nine must be positive. What does that tell you about x? That means that x can't be negative 5 or less. Cancelling out. You can cancel variables within a fraction only if it can't equal 0. A lot of the time people are scared about cancelling variables, but you can do it as long as there's a condition somewhere that it says that can't equal 0. If you do decide to cancel it and it can equal 0, what you can do is make a note that it could potentially equal 0 and come back to it afterwards. By the same thinking, the denominator can't equal zero. Make sure you consider this when considering whether a solution is valid. For example, when you have this equation of a straight line here, you can cancel the x minus one, you get y equals x, that's a straight line, but x minus one can't be zero, which means that x can't equal one. This is a straight line with an open circle at x equals one. Good luck for your exams, and please subscribe for more videos on methods, English language, all sorts of VCE subjects, as well as study advice.